What is going on, guys? Malcolm here. Come back at you with another episode of Solo Survival Series. And in today's episode, I actually have absolutely no clue what I should be doing. Isn't that just wonderful? Since I built that storage bunker thing, which I gotta say, that redstone door, wrong door. <laughs> That redstone door with the concrete powder, oh, that is fun. Double piston extenders, man. Some pretty solid stuff. If you want a tutorial for that kind of door, I can come out with that. So, yeah, I think I might be coming out with that. I do not know. Ooh, it does cause quite a bit of lag, but by the time you flick this lever, boom, boom. And you flick it again, shump, shump. So, yeah, that's fun. Plenty of stone. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so I think I might just go exploring, you know? I haven't gone exploring in a long time. I've kind of just been content, you know, building my mob farm, whatever. Which I've been AFKing at or, you know, what have you for a while. I think I did six or seven hours and really, aw oh man, you really going to do me like that? Sniped. But yeah, I think... Now would be a phenomenal time to go exploring, except for the fact that I have no food. So let's go change that real quickly. Go over here. I think I've bred up some cows recently. They should be down here. Aha. Give me your meat. There we go. 11 pieces of steak. That should be plenty. And I've got... Um, so much that stuff. Let me just chuck all this crap. And a boat. Nice. Let me go grab the map. I can get right into a cool little exploration time lapse. That's something I haven't done actually at all on YouTube. I went exploring, but that those files, of course, got corrupted. What else is new? I hope you enjoyed the outro of last of la last episode. It was just such a phenomenal outro. All right. Yeah, I guess. Uh, let's go.
right, and this map is basically complete. I've got a bunch of other crap in my inventory. And yeah, let me put the map on here, and oh man. Gotta say, this train looks sweet. Really cool. I know there's a village in, where's the Mesa? Or not the Mesa. The, so the desert goes into like the Acacia Savannah biome. I think there's a village, yep, right there. Do you see that? Right out of my, uh, the brown dot. I think that's where the village is. But anyway, I got a bunch of stuff in my inventory, and, uh, yeah, let me go dump it out, and I'll be right back. Alright, so as you can see, I've cleared out my inventory, and I want to do an automatic bamboo farm. But, the one design I'm going for needs a slime block flying machine. So that means I have to spend at least a couple of days, or nights rather, in the, uh, I was about to say slime biome, in the swamp. And then I think I have enough gold and stuff that I could do, in, and I have enough powered rails to do it. And I, ha I definitely have enough iron for the hoppers and stuff. So the collection system won't be that bad, and the redstone for that's simple. But, uh, yeah, I mean, look at, I have two and a half stacks of gold, or two and a quarter odd stacks of gold. I have, like, 12 stacks of iron. And, um, so yeah, I'm fine on resources. I also have, like, far, four stacks or th five stacks of redstone blocks. So, I am not worried at all about the resources part. The part I am worried about is, um, like, the slime block flying machine. Because slime blocks, they ain't cheap. Slime blocks are not cheap at all. So, yeah. Uh, I also got this really nice Respiration 3 leather cap. Eh, these pants I'm probably going to discard or whatever. But, um... Oh, yeah, these are going mob drops. But... Yeah, so I guess let's just get right into the... Oh, yeah, I mean, I have five... Over five stacks of redstone blocks. I mean, that's plenty of redstone. So I think the gold is... The slime is going to be the limiting factor here. So let's jump right into a time lapse and go get ourselves some slime blocks.
as you can see, my armor has taken an, has taken an absolute beating. The amount of social spawning zombies was absolutely ridiculous. And the amount of creepers that blew up on me was also really annoying. I want to take a look at my stats really quickly. Because, yeah, I'm a stats nerd. I have killed Bat four times. I have killed Cave Spider 178 times and died twice. That Cave Spider farm, that was an absolute failure. Awful. 112 creepers. Never died to one. Eight drowns. Yeah, eight endermans. Two gas. 16 husks. Nine zombie pigs. One rabbit, one sheep, 1,821 1, skeletons. I died once to a skeleton. I remember that time. 60 slimes, because that counts all the smaller slimes. 55 spiders, 17 squid, one iron golem, 18 pillagers, three witches, 128 zombies. Only 128 zombies, four zombie villagers. The, the insane amount of skeletons. I mean, I know I have a skeleton farm, which definitely contributes to that number. But still, I'd say out of that 1,800, I'd say about 1,000 is from my just general adventures and stuff. And another 800 is from my farm. Items. Times mine. Stone. Duh. Times crafted. Bones. Yeah. Times used. Diamond pick, 12,000 uses, dropped, cobble, picked up, cobble. <laughs> I forget, there's no times placed, but yeah. Barrels opened, 388. Since last rest, 1.8 hours, or 1.03 hours. That's how long I've been grinding this, yeah. Fish caught, zero. That's not true. Oh, cause right, cause I uh my stupid uh corruption. Distance flown, thirty six point two seven kilometers. How does it do that? Trap trust trigger. Distance sprinting, eighty three point one six kilometers. This stu I think this stuff's pretty cool. You know, just to look at it. So I think like once every month or something like that, I'll just take a look at my stats. But uh. Yeah, that was a fun little stats for nerds kind of thing. But I gotta say, yeah, I'm definitely gonna need a slime farm. So, for next episode, I'm already planning the next episode because I'm pretty much wrapping this one up. I mean, there's a few more things I'm gonna do this episode, but we're running low on time. But for next episode, I'm definitely going to be doing bamboo farm. I'd like to do bee shenanigans, maybe a witch farm, although I think that might be pushed back until for another for another time, but um, slime farm and witch farms are both big undertakings. Witch farm, not as much, because I think witches can spawn on water, watered blocks, and if not, I can just do a timing circuit with observers or something like that. But uh, honestly, I think I'm just going to wrap this episode up here. Uh, bamboo farm will do. I have 12 slime blocks, which is perfect. That's piston push limit. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to drop me a like. If you didn't, feel free to drop me a dislike. Comment down below why. If you really enjoyed this content, would like to see more, like to see some of my different content, I'm going to be coming out with a new series, which is going to be building tips that I'll be coming out next week on Thursday, or this upcoming Thursday, so get subscribed up for that. Or any of my other content. I do redstone, I do creative build challenges where I give myself an hour. Do I use it to build something? Do I use the entire hour? No. Um, or uh, what else do I do? Server. I don't know when that's gonna come because I've been having I've been running into brick walls with trying to get um, trying to get Minecraft or even one of the um, other ver like I, what I want to use is use a different version a rebuild of Minecraft, which is completely identical. In user experience to um, to uh, Java, but it's built for a low latency. I forget what it's called, but it's not playing well with Ubuntu. I, with Ubuntu based the distros, which yeah, I'm using Linux because it's a server, so there's no point in using full fat Windows and wasting space, especially the two gigs of RAM Windows needs to run. But yeah, so I'll, I'll, that'll be coming. But please stay safe and stay healthy.